Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 26 of the September Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit subscribe button, join me on Discord. Ooh, nice. Let me know what you think about Day's Farm, man. In the contest page today, there's an unbox surprise. Yay, 10 lead coins. Happy lead coding. Yay, it's been a while, it feels like. Anyway, today's farm is 990 Satisfactability of Equality Equations. Okay. Uh, you're given an array of equations, da, 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 of length 4, it takes 1 to 4 forms, okay. Return true if it's satisfied, okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so that means that there's only 26 things, right? So, uh, so that means that if A is equal to B, then B is equal to A and so forth. So, there is really only, um... Yeah, I mean, I think this is just a, a union fine situation where um, for every A is you go to... There may be a couple of ways to do it, I think. You can also do it by, you know, just doing a, 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 a connected components thing, which is why I said union fine, right? You just... For everything that's A is you go to B, then, yeah, we just group them together. And and then later, for all the knots, we just make sure that they're, they're not. I think that should be good. Yeah, so let's let's do it that way. Um, we just had union fine on on the contest, but uh, yeah, let's do it. Um, okay, so maybe I'll have two sets of equations. Um, one is the eco one, so equals um maybe or maybe when we equals we just kind of skip the ones that are not equal for now. And here we set up the union fine. So here I just set up parents to go to uh, uh, SI for I in range of 26 because we're doing, basically we're doing, um, yeah. Basically we're doing a from A to Z. So it's gonna be from zero to 25 and then I always do something like this, but uh, you is equal to u find a, u b is equal to u find b, and then parents of u a is equal to u b, something like this. But, okay, so then now we go for equation in equations. We go, okay, a is equal to equation sub zero, and then maybe the ordinance of this minus ordinance of a. B is equal to uh, what's it? Two, zero, one, two, three. Right? And then uh, I guess maybe we can skip ahead a little bit. If the equation of one is equal to uh, not, then we continue because we'll process them later. We'll use them to check, I suppose, right? And then here, then we union A and B, right? And then that's mostly the idea. And then now for we do it again. Evacuation of one is e is not equal to this. Then we continue. Um, so then here we are checking the knots, which means that you now we do this again. So we have to just check that they're in different parents, and I think they're fine. So if you find of a is equal to you find of b, then we return false. Otherwise, we return true. I think that should be mostly good. This is just kind of, you know, like, this is an application of translate property. Um, uh, it looks good, but, you know, these inputs are not really uh, a good example enough. But I'm still going to submit it mostly because I'm lazy and I probably haven't done this before. Okay, looks good, yeah. Um, this is basically the two things, right? One is recognizing that you're trying to basically, or, or the problem is, you know the equal, uh, the equal operator is uh, the transitive property operates on it, and and the transitive property means that if a is equal to b and b is equal to c, then a is equal to c. This also, of course, um, a is equal to b is equal to b is equal to a, um, which is um, or implies that b is equal to a, which is uh, which one is that? Is that commutative? Uh, yeah, right. Maybe I don't know. Maybe yeah, commutative. Um, so those are the two things that you sh should check. And then obviously, if A is equal to B, then it has to be true in all the other cases. And that's basically what I check for. I basically match up all the equal ones. 
and then see if you know if any of the logical ones are violating um, the principle. Otherwise, you can always figure it out. Um, assuming, I mean, that this is not the way that I wrote it, to be frank. But assuming that these are roughly all of one, eh, I know. The, you, I'm not going to go into detail and into union fine for this for this video. But let's say that they are all of one, then, you know, this is going to be all of one per equation. And this is going to be all of one per equation. So this is going to be linear time in the size of the input. Um, and of course, yeah. And you can also even say that these are all of one just because there's only 26 elements. So maybe that's, you know. Um, yeah, you could bound it by that. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. Have a great beginning of the week. I'll see you later, and let's finish this week strong. Bye-bye.